What up, guys? CB the Toolatic. Woo! Here we go. Got the Mac Hill Flyer. We're already ready to rock. Let me pull this up here and show you. This is issue number two, 2021. And this is going to be for 116 through 27, regions 13 and 18. And uh, right on the front, you see we got the 88 tooth locking flex head. $122. Uh, not much. Not a bad deal on those. A lot better than what they are when you buy them. The regular price. Uh, regular price. What are they running each? They're $20 more. So $142.95. Quarter inch drive. If you want to get in on that, get in on that. We're going to open this up. We're going to jam right through this fella right here. So over here we've got the Matco. Uh, reciprocating saw. What do they call it? Yeah, in Infinum 16 volt reciprocating saw. We see pretty simply 0 to 3100 RPMs. Um, then we have the drill 198.95. Excuse me, the price on the reciprocating saw 438. You're going to save a total of $52. 52 bones. Let's move over here because we got some inch Nipex. Um, I really don't know a better plier, and it looks like Nipex has redesigned these a little bit, it looks like. I don't know. Quick adjust pliers. Durable. Let's look at this a little bit. Maybe it's me. I don't know. They look a little bit different than normal. Self-gripping, slim head design for access, forge, pinch guard. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're the same as the typical Cobras, but that button looks way different than mine. Looks a little bit different back here, too. It looks like Nipex might have updated the maybe the grip a little bit on them a little bit. Join Matco. They're looking for distributors. Looking for distributors. All right. Then we got over here more ratchets. More ratchets up on the up on the bean here. We got uh, $132.95 for the extra long 3H drive, 18-inch straight-handled ratchet. I tell you what, guys. You know, I, and not just Matco here, but any ratchet. I, I have a Cornwell that's long like this, and I'll tell you what. It is nice to not have a flex or fixed head just because the design right here is slim. I can tell you this much. Sneaking that down into tighter spaces in there. I've noticed into some uh, stop spots where I could, like, slide the head of a, a ratchet down in there. Maybe put a socket on the other end and pull it back. If I'm going through a, uh, um, you know, a... Uh, power steering or a rack and pinion or something like that if i had to sneak around in there it's kind of nice and uh not only that right here clearance issues we're talking about clearance issues i noticed with the locking flex heads that bigger joint right there definitely causes some rubbing on deep sockets like that so 132 might not be a bag pickup we've got the matco half inch drive fixed head 50 250 foot pound torque wrench for 352.50 over here, we've got the quarter-inch digital torque wrench ratchet in an all-steel all steel design. This does not do... Um, let me see here. I don't believe this does to, uh, angle. Which, on a quarter-inch, I don't know that I've seen a whole lot of angle. Torque accuracy. Uh, you guys should let me know down in that comment box. Now, you know what? Honestly, 335 for that. I'm kind of curious. Um, I don't think I've ever done any angle with a quarter inch. Most of the stuff I do is tranny pan bolts and stuff like that. But anyways, let's move right along here. The crud buster, metal blaster, whatever you want to call it. This is Matco's versions. The metal blaster kit. Um, these are all these are out by everybody. Um, I think they're called crud thugs and whatnot. Definitely a nice tool with the rubber racer, the metal wheels, the brace of wheel right there. The Matco hammer um this is a fun topic <laughs> uh, i guess that's the way i'll put it as this is a fun topic topic 2300 blows per minute long hand long blow so the three main contenders of the air hammer business maybe four if you put the ir in there you're gonna talk you're gonna go in between the matco the snap on you're gonna hear a lot of people say a lot of different things i personally have an older mac air hammer that I've had kept in really good condition. And I'll be honest with you, I rebuild my own air tools because I've learned, I learned how to do it when I was a dealer. And I will tell you that I keep my piston serviced in this thing very well. 
Make sure I take it apart, lube everything really good. That hammer, I have not tried this hammer, but the snap on PH3050, I believe it is, I have tried it against that, and it is definitely as powerful as a 3050. I think there's a little bit of witch, witch hunting in this uh, when you're talking about the power of the air hammer, and I, I know I'm going on on this a little bit, but the Mac, the new Mac has is a is a bad mamma jamber. I would like to put these three up, but I'll tell you the biggest problem is at five hundred dollars a shot for each air hammer. That's my only qualm with it. I do like this grip on this. I will tell you this little grip area is, is one of the coolest things I think is about the air hammer. I do like about the Matco. I've heard a lot of good things about the Matco air hammer and it being awesome, but I just don't think I think between those three they're so I think they're so um, comparable. I think it's going to be really hard to tell the difference between these. Because I'm telling you right now, guys, these air hammers, in my opinion, the best way to route to go is to find the person with the best deal. That's my that's my deal. And I'll tell you, for right out of the brigade, Mac always has the best deal on the air hammers. You can usually buy that with a pretty good bundle deal for right around 400 bucks. But that's just my take on it. I just wanted to kind of weigh in on that because it's an interesting topic. Matco Diagnostic Cart. Uh, pretty cool how they're doing all these add-ons on here. Let's take a look out here. The Half Locker, which Mac has already has those. I believe, I don't know if Snap-on has those or not. TV Monitor. Mac does the same thing. We have a keyboard tray. I'm not sure where that keyboard tray goes. Does it go in there? The keyboard tray holds the, holds inside the lid. Eh. Oh, so it must set on top of here. Okay, I got gotcha. you. But yeah, the I, I, diagnostic carts are a big thing right now, guys. I, some of you guys might not know, do that, but me, personally, that's why I have two carts because I'd planned on turning one into a diagnostic tray. ADB sockets, $57.50 for the E-Torx. If you're looking for a cheap deal, that's not bad. Uh, ADV, uh, six-point metric, 3H drive, shallows, stubbies. Once again, I, I definitely would go with the Astros. Astro has a better um, option because I like the hex design for using a wrench if you got in that situation. $61.95. Just my personal uh, opinion and preference, guys. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right. Brake flaring toolkit. Uh, this is an interesting one. I personally use the um, hydraulic one. Um, mine is a Sure. I don't know if you guys are aware of Sure Industries, but they do a lot of fittings and whatnot. But uh, mine's a right angle Sure. Um, and then there's another one from, oh, uh, it's going to, you guys can say in the comment box. There's another hydraulic one. So this is kind of neat. $108. Looks like it's a little bit better than the old school flaring set where you can get double flares and whatnot in there better, but uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, power steering puller kit. Guys, this looks like the old KD one. And I will tell you, this was this has been the one that I've used. I've used about all the other ones. $75. If that's the case and these are warrantied, because you will break these bolts, <clears throat> and that's what I've always had a problem with. Um, this is a pretty good set. I definitely would probably buy this. That looks a lot like the old KD one, and I will tell you that is my favorite one. The Snap-on one, uh, I've not been impressed with. It's got a, the, the bolt is skinnier. It's, it's just not. And the Mac one, they changed their design too. Four-piece O-ring remover set, $32.95. Love these for put, taking out O-rings. These are the proper way, not using a pick, using these seal tools. Definitely will keep you from having to pull a line apart if you were pulling off seals. Oil filter wrenches, uh, $20.95, $23.95, 80 millimeter, 71 millimeter. The Toyotas, you guys know if you know, <laughs> gotta have them. The strap wrench, uh, that guys, I have one, I got a cheap one, but $30.95, one of those tools that it might save your butt. It's uh, $30, kind of a cheap pickup. More, and then we have the green picks, obviously. This thing, uh, I, I, I saw this on Instagram the other day, and I got excited because at first I was like, man, this is cool. Of course, you guys know I have the three ton, 310 tool. Uh, actually, just recently got these in green. I don't know if we, I can't really show them. I can't really get the color to go for you. Anyways, the 310 tool, magnetic funnel buddies. And uh, I looked at these, and... Uh, 
then I was completely uh, let go because that MF2QT is too court. So I guess you're going to take five trips back to filling a truck. If you're doing an oil change at six quarts, two quarts, <laughs> half quart, I, I'm a little bit... The, the, the design, it looks awesome. Uh, they left out the, the size. Honestly, I, I thought it was a great idea. They used to have these back in the day. They had some metal ones, basically, that had the same type of system with the metal spouts that came off them, if you guys know, that were, you know, you know. But uh, unfortunately, for $41, I don't know that I really get too hyped up about that. Brake bleeder, vacuum brake bleeder, $199.95. These are kind of rebranded from everybody, guys. Uh, it says Maco exclusive. Uh, let's check this out and see what makes this one different. There's a lot of these vacuum brake bleeders. I don't know much about this one. I haven't seen this one. Personally, I have a Mighty Vac, and it works awesome. Hot sleeves. Perfect. Dude, those things are awesome. Hot glove, $43.95. Guys, those are definitely lifesavers. Definitely pick up something like that. That's something I would buy off the Maco truck. Not even scared. $43 seems like a cheap deal versus going to the ER. For a burn, third degree burn. Uh, we got some body dollies. Heavy duty work shears. Body dollies, $47.95, $33.95. Those are kind of nice to have, even if you're not uh, a body guy. <laughs> I can tell you what, just because if you get a dent, you can fix it yourself. $34.95 for these shears. I like shears like this. I have a Mac set that I love. They're just handy. Nice to have in your toolbox for it. Six and a half inch mechanics vise, uh, $182.95. Definitely cool. Uh, let's move on to the next one here. We got some chassis ears. Looks like some um, rebranded Lang stuff. Chassis ears, one thirty three ninety five for the single one, not the set. Basic compression tester, seventy two. Um, some re some Lang, Lang leads, or there's a lot of people that make those. Thirty six fifty six for the retractable leads. Seven pin out round tester, cordless circuit tester. Snap on has them. Um, I believe Astro has them. There's a lot of that might be a rebranded Astro tool. Forget who makes that one. Well, Keegan Terminal Spade Kit, $135.95. Um, is that a, is that a Waukegan or is that an OTC? I think that's a Waukegan. Perfect made adapter tips. I have a I have a uh, I have a Kentmore or an OTC brand one. That's nice. It's an old one. It's kind of getting outdated. I'll tell you, it doesn't work on everything. Parasitic draw switch. That's interesting. Uh, easily attaches to negative battery. <coughs> Excuse me. Easily attaches to negative battery terminal for parallel parasitic draw drain, drain testing. That's interesting. Noid light set, 11250. Those are still handy and relevant. We've got a digital battery tester with printer, $449.95. Uh, one of those tools that I, if you can afford to buy it as a technician, it is definitely handy to have that in your toolbox and not have to hunt one down the shop. Fuse savers. Guys, I love these. IPA. These are rebranded from IPA. 103.50. They have a bigger set, too. Probably don't need much more than this if you're doing automotive. Uh, there might be some instances where you need a 30 amp, but they do have two different sizes of these. 103.50 is not a bad gig for that. Pretty reasonable. You save $16. MFS 800. I love those things. Um, they're handy because you're not wasting money on fuses. We got some Matco tools, shirts, and hats, and cars, and Oakley glasses. Let you kind of spend an eyeball on that. You know, anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks, I'm sure, for all that. And then we have on the last page of Cox, of course, the hard hitter. Long barrel air hammer, the most powerful on the market. There's nothing like that I can't break loose with this. I'm sure it is definitely a hard hitting tool, guys, with uh, 2,300 blows per minute. Like I said, my final thoughts on that are is I would like to try it to see, but I'm betting, I'm almost guaranteeing that th there's not a significant, huge difference that you're probably going to be able to notice between those three, between the Snap-on PH3050. Um, and But then again, I could be wrong. There is a video out there on the Mac one, and it does stomp the, the Snap-on with a actual computer test. But uh, I don't know where that's at. I would put it in the video if I could. But anyways, guys, that's your video. The number two, number two Matco Flyer for 2021. 
Appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.